Agriculture is one of the most important sectors to support the fast-growing population and economy of Bangladesh. There are projections that Bangladesh could face a serious food deficit of around 14 million tons by 2030, mainly driven by reduced land availability. The country is exploring opportunities for intensification and diversification of agriculture in the coastal zone. In the early 1960s, a large investment was made in the coastal zone for constructing embankments around the perimeter of the arable lands bordering the rivers to reduce the loss of life and enable agricultural production. These areas are known as polders and covered about 1.2 million hectares. The polders have largely missed out on the adoption of improved agricultural technologies. Most farmers grow traditional rice varieties. As the river turns saline in the dry season, the farmers face water scarcity to have a second crop, and the land remains fallow during the rest of the year. It exposes the region to food insecurity and makes it more vulnerable to malnutrition. Under the Feed the Future program of USAID, the Sustainable Intensification Innovation Lab, in collaboration with Kansas State University and the International Rice Research Institute, is working with national agencies and farmer communities to unlock and demonstrate the production potential of the region. By introducing community-led water management in the region, the project has demonstrated different pathways to intensify and diversify the cropping system. Timely planning of medium duration, climate resilient, and high zinc rice not only improves the productivity of rice, but also opens the opportunity to grow a dry season crop. The introduction of maize and sunflower has received a lot of interest from the farm community. The farmers were pleased to see alternate options to feed their livestock and poultry. <laughs> Adding sunflower to the system provides options of having edible oil for better nutrition. About 60% of the farmers engaged in a demonstration kept their sunflower seeds for home consumption. The project worked with the community to introduce additional income generation opportunities to improve resilience. One of the technologies was mechanical harvesting using a reaper to ease the physical burden on women and increase their contribution to household earnings. Understanding of potential technologies, its synergies and trade-offs is one of the core interests of this initiative. We believe that the continuation of similar adaptive research with community-led approaches can help the region achieve food and nutrition security.